video is going to be about the basics of MMT. We're going to be applying these concepts to most of the muscles that we test this term. So it's very important that you have that chart memorized uh, in the Google Drive. If you do not, then all of this is just going to blow your mind. So it's imperative that you have that memorized. So first, I'm going to talk about justifications for MMT grades so that as instructors, we know that you know exactly why the patient got that grade. And then we'll go through the first set of muscle grades from a five to a three plus. So when justifying MMT grades, there are three things that you might need to justify. One is the position, the against gravity position or the gravity minimized position, the range of motion the patient went through in that position, and if they held any pressure and how much they could hold before breaking. The only one that won't break will be a five and then a three plus technically if they earn that. So. With those things in mind, let's just start running through this. So first thing we're going to work on is knee extension. We're going to use this for all of them today. <clears throat> so now I'm going to see if the patient can actually extend their knee. So what I'm going to have you do is just kick your leg up as straight as you can. And always for instructor's sake, so we can see, just verify that's full range of motion. In the clinic, you're not going to have to do that. It was obvious that you had a straight knee, but just so we know that you know to test that. So again, go ahead and try to straighten that leg out as much as you can. And then each different muscle is going to have its own testing position. So for the knee, it's slightly unlocked. And we'll talk about each of those when we get to each muscle. So she is able to hold the test position. So now we can apply pressure. So on three, I'm going to apply pressure. Don't let me break you. On three. One, two, three. Hold, hold, hold. I like to go three holds. You decide what works best for you. She was able to hold through three full holds. Each hold, I was increasing my pressure. So that by the time I got to the third hold, it was maximum pressure. So patient went through full range of motion against gravity and held strong or maximal pressure without breaking. So she earns a five. So now we're gonna do a four plus. Same thing, patient kicks up, full range of motion. Great, hold test position, she can. I'm gonna apply pressure on three, one, two, three. Hold, 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 all right. She was unable to hold against my strongest pressure. She was able to hold between moderate to strong, that's a four plus. Now we're going to a four. So go ahead and kick up again. Verify full range of motion. Put her in the spot. On three, one, two, three, hold, hold. Broke after holding moderate pressure. So full range of motion against gravity, held moderate pressure, that's the four, before breaking. So I wanna know what they did right before it breaks. That's how you earn it, so she earns the four. Now we have a four minus. She's only gonna be able to hold slight to moderate pressure. So go ahead and kick up again. All right, put her in test position. On three, one, two, three, hold. All right. She held on my first hold, but then right after that it broke. Slight to, moder or slight to moderate pressure, that's a four minus. And then our last one where we're applying pressure is a three plus. So with this, when I first push, it's gonna give. Okay, so go ahead and kick up again. All right, bring her down. So she's holding test position. So she's at least a three. I'm gonna apply pressure on three, one, two, three, hold. It gives immediately. Now to verify a three plus, because a three plus is slight pressure. Fingertips, let the instructor know you're doing slight pressure. I should not see your fingers extend, because obviously you're pushing too much through there. So on three, one, two, three, hold, hold, and relax. I would say if there was an egg on the table, I probably wouldn't have cracked it. So that's all you're trying to do is can they barely hold some pressure? She did. Patient went through full range of motion against gravity and held slight pressure before breaking. Those are all of your against gravity with pressure applied grades. Mm -hmm. Good.